Good morning. Welcome to Bread for Today. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. How many times, like me, have you heard those words or spoken those words from Psalm 118? But how often, like me, have you not really thought about what those words mean? Each day is a new day. It's a new gift from God. Each second, each minute, each hour, a unique gift from God that will never be repeated. So when we have a new day, do we actually think about how we're going to spend it? How we're going to do things which are pleasing to our Lord and Saviour and not to ourselves? I'm sure, like me, during this lockdown, you've had a lot of time to think about how to spend your time. And perhaps, like me, spent more time with family and friends, or tried to. In Africa, where we tend to spend quite a lot of our time, they have a saying which is, you Westerners have the watches, but we have the time. And that is so true, because out there, people do have time for you. They stop and ask you how you are, how you're feeling, how your family is, how your faith is and then they get on to whatever business is that they need to talk to you about. And I just hope that we too can spend more time with family and friends instead of rushing around all the time. I remember hearing a sermon a little, well, a few years ago now probably, that I think Paul gave, and in that he talked about people nearing the end of their lives being asked was the things that they would change. And not surprisingly, most of them said they wished they'd spent more time with family, friends, talking to God and not spending time working, washing cars, doing the ironing and all the other things that we tend to get so worried about and that they wish they'd spent more time with family and friends. And I do hope that we too, once this lockdown has finished, will do a similar thing. We, during this time, have done some more walking, and particularly around local areas, including the Cotswold Way. And we went to a church the other day, and outside there were leaflets for walkers. So I would just like to finish with the prayer that was on the back of the leaflet. God be with you in every pass. Jesus be with you on every hill. God be with you in every street. Jesus be with you in every meeting. God be with you in every difficulty. Jesus be with you in every storm. May the Father, Son and Holy Spirit surround you and save you this day and through all your tomorrows. So let's just hope there's many, many tomorrows and that we will spend them with family, friends and God. Thank you for listening. God bless.